just for regular 3D. Okay, so the first thing I want people to do is come in here, mm -hmm. on the side. Okay, come around here. The first thing I want you to do is look at those two lights. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you see? What do you, you mean, look at the light? At the lights. Okay. Both lights. What you, do you see the bulb, the bulb, yeah. and then the reflection and what do you see in, in the, the inside. What do you see in the bulb? Uh, yeah, white. Is, one of them is white, white and yellow. And one of them is yellow. Oh, you see the oh difference? yes, yes. You see the difference? Oh, yeah. That's tungsten. That's daylight. Okay. Okay. So if you want to bitch up whatever artwork you're doing, if you if you want it to be warm and this and that, sure, use the tungsten. Okay. But if you want it to be seen the way you painted it. Yeah. That's the daylight. That's daylight. So daylight and tungsten. So there's almost like a blue tinge to well, the daylight. Yeah. You saw it on the thing yeah. I showed you up here. It's, yeah. Naturally, it's more to the blue. Yeah. It's a faster frequency than this. Yeah. That's a slower frequency. Yeah. Well, okay. suppose suppose I don't have I don't have two bulbs. I just have just have one lamp. How how would you do? It? Just then you'd get. Now okay. watch this. Yeah. This is called a bounce pattern. Okay. okay. Watch the shadows instead. You might want to come over this a little okay. bit closer here. Sure. To this side. What I'm gonna try to bend down over here. Watch what happens to this with a bounce pad. If I put a bounce pad right here, oh, yeah. see a little bit of it coming in. Yeah. See okay. a little bit of the white coming in here. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I wait see a minute. It. Now wait. See it? Now watch this as I move closer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See okay. what happened? Yeah. So you can take a bounce card and you can bring a bounce card in any way you want except for in front of the camera. Okay, so that's okay. when you see these photographers. That's why they have oh, these big round discs. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the photo bouncing. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes they're the lights. Sometimes yeah. the light is in them, but other times... But even with the lights, they have these big round white discs, and that's yeah. what that is. Yes. That's the purpose. Okay. And there's all different color ones. Like, I yeah. have a couple of them at home, like you say, in the white disc. One yeah. has a white side. Yeah. The other one is gold, oh. in case I want to make it. Warmer. More warmer, yeah. Or okay. you really want the reflection? If you use a mirror, yeah, you have this almost the same light coming in. You can use a mirror to bounce the light wherever you want. Yeah. I work with this this gentleman friend of mine, Dean Collins. He's one of the best in the world, and he he showed us how to do lighting, the complete studio lighting with one light, mm. because he used mirrors. Oh. And the mirrors would bounce this or yeah. that every which way. Or if there is ways of showing. Um, and I shouldn't do this, I mean, I should use a pretty face. Um, I'll use this one for now, okay? But when you do models, okay, if you're gonna shine a light in a model's face, this is called butterfly lighting, okay? okay where you don't see much here and here, yeah. okay? okay? And then what you do though, I'm gonna back this up, is take the card and bring it up here. Okay, and what and that that bounces the light up under your chin. See my, watch my nose. See my nose. Yeah. Watch under my nose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You I see? say yes. Okay, that's called butterfly lighting. Oh. Normally, when you're doing, they call Rembrandt lighting. Is, is when is you the, have. And I'm going to get down here because I'm going to have space. Yeah. But normal Rembrandt lighting, what they call Rembrandt lighting is about 45 if somebody is heavy okay you want to get them like this yeah okay if yeah. they're thinner you want to get them like this okay okay and tell me when it gets rembrandt bill oh no, no. right about there okay see this on my cheek right here yeah rembrandt used to paint that all no. the time so standard lighting for anybody if you're going to do a portrait let's say yeah. would be up here about 45 degrees okay yeah. And this way, 45 degrees, okay, mm -hmm. and farther away. Yeah. And if I wanted to do a little bit of lighting on the other side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You can bounce it. Use a pillowcase if you want. Yeah. Okay. Or this could be a window. Yeah. Use, well, some of the best shots I always did is I put a, a lady north light next to a window, and then I put a bounce on the other side. Beautiful lighting. Beautiful yeah. Beautiful lighting for a, 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 somebody doing a wedding. So... Um, there's different styles of lighting too when you're doing portraits and stuff like that. But right now, all we're talking about is artwork. So I'm going to show you now. Here's 
not going to be perfect. I'm sorry. Now, I have the one I have. It has a 500. Is it a 500? No, not 500. Bar. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the jet. Is there a magazine around or something? A magazine here, like this? A uh, heavy book or something. No, that'd be fine. Okay. Can I show you the exactly. Okay. Stand over here and what is it? What do you see? You don't see any light bouncing off it, do you? No. Because I'm aiming the light across it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're getting an even amount of lighting with that. Now, let me take a picture of it. First of all, like I told you before, I have to come up to the middle of the book. Okay. okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring is this. Aim the lens at the middle of the artwork. Okay. Actually, what I might do, since it's vertical, anyhow, we should be vertical. The first thing I want to do is this. Try to aim it at the middle, okay? okay. Let me turn it on. Okay. Now. It has a string right in it across the line. Okay. No, I don't. It's close, but I think. Okay, so what, if, if you can see behind me, yeah. look behind me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Can you see? Mm -hmm. You see how everything is square? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that. Mm -hmm. Mm, fungus cameras. This is what happens when you're a blind photographer. And when you're in the studio or setting this up at home, you know. Okay? You just you have to be patient. And then after you're done, you take the camera and throw it right out the freaking window. Why does it keep going off? It's a little fun. Is it charged? Yep. Where is that? Is?
It's on. It just doesn't want to show me the picture. It's like it's blocked. Oh, for some reason. Go figure. Okay. Don't ask me why, but... Okay, I'm going to zoom. Why is it... Every, every time I want to zoom, it's going off. Everybody can see it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to do is see if I can focus it too. If I go in and focus it though, so every time I touch this here to zoom in or zoom out, it won't let me. was going to press, press the button halfway down. See, it, it's off. It keeps going off for some reason. I have to turn the camera on now. I don't understand why it's doing that. And I have to touch the menu button here to see what I want to see. Now, if you come up here to zoom in and out, you just do this one back and forth, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Let me go that way. And it, see, it just doesn't want to do it. I don't know. Anyhow, it's broken. So, but everybody understands what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you put your paper in front of it, or right now you could focus on that. Okay, Mary. You can see that. You can just focus on that. You zoom in. You crop it to where you want to crop it. And then you just take it as you want it. Mm -hmm. This is an easy way of doing it on a table. Yeah. Um, again, <laughs> besides, besides the pain in the neck that it just caused me here, I don't understand why it did. Um, you just zoom in on it, take the picture. So you can set this up every time you want to do it that way yeah. too. Again, if all the lights and everything are all set up for you, if you have a place to do this and keep this steady downstairs yeah. in your basement or something, great. Yeah. Do it that way. Get some nice stuff. Make sure it's iron, not like this, because I have this in my pack for a while. Yeah. Okay? But you can do it that way, too. You just want to make sure that the lens is directly in, in the, the middle, center, yeah, okay. and it's a long focal length lens. Okay. Any questions? This is great. Thank okay. you. My pleasure.